Hi Spin Energy Dude, I'm just going to show you quickly how I created that uh, the, the XX crystallized video. So I actually created two videos in two separate mixing screens. So here I created one video with just loads of clips edited together. So I'll just click play here. And then if you if I drag the cursor you can see the video. So that's the part one of the video, that's the background. And here is uh, the second video, which is another video put together from just clips edited. And what I did was I exported the f they're both set to YouTube HD in the target frame size, and then I just exported that and exported it as X XX part video one and XX part video two. So you'll see here that I have the two videos then rendered off. What I did then was I created a new mixing screen and I dragged in the first part, part one. So you can see it here. And what I did was I set the target frame size again to YouTube HD. And then I clicked on the segment properties. And then I set it to a half size on the zoom bar. I then, what I did was then I just horizontally moved it over to the edge. So let's just get a, a lighter so I can see all the edges. So let's say here is the sun and then I just set it over to the side and then what I did was I then copied the segment and then I placed it underneath like so I make sure the two are lined up so you can do that by snapping or they're at the beginning then I clicked on the segment properties of the second one and I just moved that over like so, so I created a kind of split screen effect. Like so. Then what I did was I imported the second video and placed it underneath. And then what I did was I s clicked on the segment properties again and I just set that to half size again on the zoom bar and then I just adjusted it over a little bit like so after that then I just I have the track here I just copied and pasted the track in from the track cutter and there I made the video that's how I made the video so very simple So you just really create two videos and then you create the split screen of the same video and then you place the video underneath and that's how you come up with that effect. So I hope that helps and if you've got any questions please don't hesitate to contact me and I'll get back to you straight away.